Hi there. In this video, we will see an overview of the planned production order within financials for Office 365 and the importance of this step within the production order process. A planned production order specifies information about a product that you expect to produce, and there is no firm commitment to produce it. Typically, the planning worksheet system generates a planned production order as a suggested production order that includes quantities, release date, and due date. The planning system bases its suggestions on the replenishment method, reorder policies, and order modifiers that it encounters in the net requirements planning process. This is all within the replenishment fast tab of the item card, as well as the fact box you see to the right. Their generation in planning results in a suggested planned order release. You can automatically create a planned production order from a sales order. Like so. Planned production orders are similar to release production orders and can provide input to capacity requirement planning by showing the total capacity requirements by work center and machine center. For an introduction to work and machine centers, or how to set up production routing, please refer to the links within the description. Functionally, a planned production order represents the best estimate of the future load for a work center or machine center, based on available information. However, because they are erased during subsequent planning generations, manual creation is not practical, as a norm. To populate the planned production order manually, you have the option to copy existing production orders, or use the source type to populate the lines table. To see the meaning of the different source types, refer to the simulated production order video in the description. You can use the refresh production order function to have external changes take effect to this production order in reference to the routing or bill of materials. While replanning a production order does this, but also resets the order. To progress the production order through the manufacturing process, use the change status button. This requires the appropriate posting date, which status you wish to move to. Then finally you can select whether the unit costs within this production order are required to be updated. And that's the planned production order. If you have any questions while using Financials for Office 365, you can click on the question mark for our Windows-specific help page. Like so. If you want help on a field, click on the caption. Or for a specific column, click on the heading and select help. Like so. And that's the planned production order.